thank you for being here and uh, thank you to the FCCA for giving me the opportunity to display my work in this lovely old gallery with so many beautiful spaces. Um, I've been creating art for probably most of my life. My family are all artisans in one way or another. And so it's been in my blood for a long time. Probably in the last five to seven years is when I really got a little bit more serious with my art and I've explored many different mediums from collage to mosaic. This is my latest piece, which is a sculptural piece. My Probably my passion in art is to just let things flow intuitively so I don't work from a reference piece. I generally put down layers of paint or medium and I let that take me to wherever it's going, going to lead. So almost all my work tells a little bit of a story. And for instance, this piece is called The Mischief Maker. And I think that's pretty evident in what you see here and she represents kind of the mischief that you might find in a carnival or New Orleans, the Mardi Gras or something like that. And if you turn this piece around, there's even a little bit of an extra story going on by the, by the hands and the expression there. And it all tells a story. And I could go on probably with each piece and tell a little story. Okay, I'd like to tell a little bit of a story about this collection of pieces right here. This is probably a very good example of the kind of thing I like to do intuitively. So with all of these pieces, I just basically started with some color and line and shapes, and then each one came through and started to tell me a story. And I think what, where these are all coming from is when I take a walk and um, I'm surrounded by nature or my cats that are outdoors or indoors. But this one especially is like a walk, a walk in the park for me. So I'm like dreaming and there's the woodpecker and just a cat and who knows what else might jump out at me. But this, it, it's showing with all these pieces kind of have a, some kind of story to tell. This I just called the magicals because these little characters show up and they just seem like magic to me. I think with my work, the, one of the biggest things for me is color. Color and whimsy and something that would make people smile and enjoy my work. Okay, here is an example of a, what I think is a really fun piece. It's something I did about five years ago, but I didn't finish until recently. I just added more detail. But I always had the idea that this, these were two chess pieces battling it out and the name is Checkmate. So you can definitely see the winner right here. And that's probably the Rook if you play chess and the Fallen Queen. So I had a lot of fun with this piece between the texture and the colors and it's bright, it's lively and it's kind of whimsical. So it's, it's a great expression of the kind of work that I like to do. This is another example of a completely intuitive piece where I just started with all red colors, reds and golds. And then I followed up with blues. And all of a sudden there in the background comes, or in the foreground comes this huge prehistoric looking bird. And he's just flying toward you with some kind of great energy. And I made this swirling thing, sort of like circles and spirals that are common, I guess, in all art pieces and around the world. And it just kind of seemed to fit in this one. It's sort of like a, between a wild awakening and a, a, a crazy spiritual bird. I love them. <laughs> okay, this piece is not in my normal ballpark of colors. I'm definitely a colorist. So I love using the bright oranges and the pinks and yellows and color combinations. So purposefully I, tried to use a limited palette here and I did have fun with it and I think it was successful but the, the most fun is the way the face popped out and it's sort of the shapes because they're they're kind of boxy and triangular and it reminded me a little bit of Picasso's time when he was in his cubistic period when he was doing all boxes and squares and odd angles and that this piece that's why I called it Picasso Wink, because he gave me a little wink when he saw that. <laughs>
This is an, an example of the first mosaic-like piece that I've ever done. And you can see there right away, there's my colors again, the reds and blues and crazy combinations. But to me, this is more than just that. It's a, it's a memory dress. And so every, everything in here represents either some place I've been where I've collected things. These are like earrings that someone made for me with Italian coins in them. And these are like, a, it's a door knock, knocker and an old piece of vintage jewelry, little stones. These are, this is um, glass that I used to make glass beads. So I thought, oh, I gotta hang on to this glass, glass because maybe I'll use it for something. And sure enough, here it is in this piece. And I used to collect um, stones and and rocks and things from all over the world in my travels. And, and so here are, here's some turquoise and, and um, these are again, Italian uh, metal pieces from a, from a flea market. The sides of the dress here is from an old plate that I, I bought this plate in France and I was, I love this. And one of my cats knocked it over and it was in a bunch of pieces and I just couldn't bear to throw it away. But when I made this dress, I pulled those pieces out and here it is. So I'm very happy about that. So this has a lot of memories for me and um, I love it. Okay, I'm happy to show everyone this whole wall of paintings. I, I feel like this is my wall of characters, all my intuitive characters that come out of my head when I'm putting down layers. So we have the cat because I have several and of course that's gonna pop up. And these are buddies and I'm sure it's something to do with nature that came out here. And some wise guys, another crazy cat. This is my king cat here. He's got a lot of character with his crown and, and his lines and his crazy colors and big eyes and, and his cohort of prince. And these guys all go together. This is like a fish out of water. You can see the fish jumping out and the cat's looking at it like, what the heck? And bird brain. I, some of my titles I think are apropos because there's a crazy bird with this human looking cat and a very peaceable kingdom here. And then there's a cast of characters.
the Fredericksburg Center for the Creative Arts, where art and history meet.